Isaiah 64, 6 But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. Zechariah 3, 1-7 And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments, and stood before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of raiment. And I said, Let them set a fair mithire upon his head. So they set a fair mithire upon his head, and clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by. And the angel of the Lord protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, If thou wilt walk in my ways, and if thou wilt keep my charge, then thou shalt also judge my house, and shalt also keep my courts, and I will give thee places to walk among these that stand by. Second Corinthians 5.21 for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. This is speaking of Jesus. He was made a sin offering for us, although he himself never sinned. Job 29.14 I put on righteousness, and it clothed me, and my judgment was as a robe and a diadem. Romans 13.14 but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lusts thereof. In and of ourselves the best we have to give to God is nothing more than filthy rags, just like my opening verse. However, God gives us His best, just as He did for Joshua so that we are no longer serving him from our best, which is filthy rags, but from his best, which is clean white robes. Let's focus on serving him from what he gives us, from his best, and from his nature and righteousness in us, and not try to serve him from the weakness of our flesh with its sin, but from the power of the Holy Spirit within us. For that to happen, we need to be willing to change out our filthy rags of sin and put on His righteousness. That starts with repentance of sin, turning away from it, and turning to Jesus for salvation. That starts with a simple little prayer like this. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and that you rose again the third day. I repent of my sins. So please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you. So I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of his will so you can live out his holiness in your life. If you have ever wished that you could read the story of Jesus' life from all four Gospels chronologically, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May you serve God in righteousness.